33.2% THC. I don't even know. That's so high for I've flour, ever. guys. Hi, Hi friends. friends. Welcome to That High Couple, where we explore and discuss our passion for cannabis. On today's vlog, we are very excited to be reviewing something for you guys, and that is Houseplant. This is arguably the most exciting celebrity collab in cannabis, like, ever. This is Seth Rogen's wheat brand. It's been around in Canada for two years, but it was just recently released in the U.S. And he released it with three strains that are exclusively found here in America, and we aren't just going to be smoking these strains out of any old piece. We gotta use the Seth Rogen bong if we're going to be smoking the Seth Rogen weed. A few years ago, Seth Rogen made this bong super viral and famous on the internet by taking a hit out of it. Because we have one, of course we're gonna be using it to smoke the Seth Rogen weed. It seems like the best way to honor the man. It's him and Evan Goldberg doing it, which are both executive producers of like a movies like Super Bad, This Is The End, Pineapple Express. I didn't realize Pineapple Express was a name that they came up with by discovering different like weather phenomena phenomenon, which is also how they named all of the strains for Houseplant. And we are coming to you guys from our brand new studio set up. This is very exciting to be shooting in here for the first time. It's only the beginning stages of just putting up some stuff on the wall, but we see a lot more Canna adventures and product highlights coming out of this room in the future. Stay tuned for the evolution of this space. Yes. So we have got Pancake Ice, Pink Moon, and Diablo Wind are the three eights that we picked up from Sweet Flower here in Los Angeles dispensary chain here in California that's great for any kind of cannabis needs. They partner with different brands like Houseplant for these like exclusive product launches. Because the motto for the company is that this is for people who love weed by people who love weed. We got high expectations for it based off of that. Let's just say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so let's get into opening up the first eights of our Houseplant strains. This yeah. is the thing that I've also been very curious about from the internet is that this is a brand new packaging. I think it's cool that you can stack them. You know, these little like tins. Oh, okay. Like that's fun. That's very fun. On the top of it, it says not only uh, the cross strains. So Diablo Wind is a Jack Herrera and G13 Haze. We've got Pancake Ice here, which is a cross between Chem Dog and Mandarin Cookies. Yeah. And then underneath that, it also has the THC percentage count. All of these strains are over 20% THC. Mine's at 24. That's crazy. This is 33. <laughs> 33? That's for... a lot for flour. Yeah, pancake guys, that is the most THC, so we're gonna work our way we'll up to that. Work our way back to that, yes. The attention to design of like, even the fact that if it's an indica with houseplant, the horizontal lines are gonna be like flat. And then if it's a sativa, the lines are up and down because it's like, it's an uplifting thing. Here we go. Hybrids are diagonal. Like, they've like what a cool. That's very cool. I'm thinking about all the fun little details. Okay, this was the thing I was reading about online. The yes. push-in tabs are not the easiest. easiest. Okay. Seth Rogen actually did a full tutorial on his Instagram and made it look so easy. He really did make it look very easy. It's two tabs that you push into the sides. Yeah, and it should just pop, pop open. open, but... Uh... He also grabbed his keys. Okay. Cool, got Success. it. Success. Success with the assistance of keys. Yeah, Here, I'll try. Yep. Oh my god, because the smell is like, oh, Ooh. it's like assaulting me right now. Wow. Oh my god, it has almost like a cheesy smell to it. Oh yeah, it does have that like that good sour. Oh yeah. Okay. This is like a like a. Oh, what? Weird Parmesan Pecorino Romano something like. Oh yeah. Wow. That good kind wow. of blue cheese. Wow, and it is beautiful. Beautiful looking. Oh, the Diablo win has such a great, such a difference of like, now we're getting into like a floral, Ooh, sweeter. That citrus, yeah. Almost. Very fresh. Oh, wow. So incredibly different just between the two of those. That's insane. Look at this. That's insane. Yes, first look. This is also, this breaks down into four nugs, but like, wow, these are pretty. Seth, I love you to death, man, but you're making it so difficult for me to love you. He made it look so easy on his video. He was just like, just push it in and it pops right off. No problem. Right. It's doing its job. It's child resistant. I don't think a kid would be able to get into that at no. all. So. In two nugs, we Ooh. have an entire eighth. Yeah, the smell game is absolutely won by Pink Moon. Hands down. A little, little more piney, a little more musky. 
Got an empty grinder here yeah. so that we can just grind up a bowl's worth. First bowl packed up right here. Diablo wind at 24%. This is what you refer to a dry hot wind coming out of Northern California. We got the stewing glass packed up, yeah. ready to go. All right, well, cheers everyone. Yes. All right, get this going. Oh, okay, yeah, Back ladies first. And cheers. God, smoking like Seth. Uh, best way to do it. Oh, get out of here. Well, first hit of house plant. Oh, that is very tasty. Okay, wait here. Ooh, okay. All right, Let's and see. now time for round two. Decided to hop on this Diablo wind. Mmm. <laughs> 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 When you get a big scoop of it, like from the stew, it's like, like one of those things where I feel like when you taste like a really good alcohol that's like a scotch or whiskey that's been aging for like 10, 20, whatever, however many years, and you yeah. taste it, you're like, oh, that was so smooth. Oh, yeah. there's no real gag or anything like that. I feel like that's kind of how this is, where I'm just like, that was just very smooth, very light, very nice. Yeah. Like, just, just. Taste of like quality. We're gonna move on to their Indica Pink Moon. This smell is like hands down the best. That's the only one of the strains that I'm, as far as a weather phenomenon, I'm at least familiar with a Pink Moon. A Pink Moon, yeah. yeah. We've all seen a Pink Moon before. Oh, that smells amazing ground up, okay. Of all the celebrity collabs, we've tried like Chong's Choice, we've tried Khalifa, Khalifa Kush. Kush. Yeah, Still we've looking tried. for Willie's Reserve, but like there's not yep. that many. Yeah, what is it, we need to try Monogram? Oh, I feel like yeah. it's gotta be the next one, Jay-Z strain, but yes. Houseplant is probably the one that I'm the most excited for, honestly. It's true, yeah, they you can just tell they put so much thought into every step of the branding. They have an entire houseware section that has like lighters, ashtrays, record players, like very, yes. very cool stuff to like put around your smoking area and just like spice it up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Indica, let's go pink moon. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. I feel like I'm getting like sympathy lung burn like that. It looks like a massive hit. Oh, oh it was a massive hit. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, amazing. Oh my god, but it tastes so good. God, I can't even okay. smell the difference of that one. <laughs> yeah, I feel like. The Pink Moon definitely has a stronger taste versus the Diablo Wind. Mm. Oh my god, all right, Pretty Clark's pump. turn. Get on this level. Getting on this level. It's always fun going right after her because it's just like, oh, depending on how high her eyebrows get, <laughs> that's how high I'm about to get. <laughs> oh my god. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Oh, it really is a whole nother level smoking them with this thing. I feel like Seth would be proud. Yes, I Seth, so. Sethy baby, are you proud of <laughs> your, your fun uncle and aunt? Oh, two for two, super smooth hits. I mean, I know yeah. we're like, it's the super smooth, high quality THC kind of hits. And Between man. the two, I actually, I feel like I'm usually more of a sativa diva, but I do like the taste on that indico better. I know, I know. And like, I, I can feel, whoo, both of those hits catching up to me now. This is hitting like hot molasses down my back. <laughs> a noticeably different high, even if journey. you're already high. It's time just to like kick it into overdrive and let's mm -hmm. finish strong on pancake ice. Pancake ice, 33.2% THC. I don't even know. That's so high for I've flour, ever, guys. Right, if I've ever had more than Normally 30%. Normally they're in the like teens to teens. low 20s. Seeing 33% is something I'm very curious and excited about. <laughs> and it only coming in the two, two. <laughs> nugs. We're so used to like getting a deal and buying like eighths or quarters into the little small nugs. I love my popcorn nug. But it's like, yeah, they're, it's <laughs> aesthetically more pleasing to see more than nice, a gram. This is like a beautiful nug. nug. Yeah. Exactly. The fact that all three of these look like such top shelf things. The look does match what you're getting here. This is just like... They, they did it right. This is high quality cannabis. Yeah, yeah it's not just fancy looking hard to get into uh, containers. I do feel like I gotta like save this for special occasions almost. It's like... <laughs> A special occasion kind of weed, yeah. Yeah, this I'm was... like, I don't want to just like go through this just on my... Yeah. My daily rips. And not even a crazy price though for how quality it's come in. Uh, I know at Sweetflower we picked up at $60 an eighth. Yeah, I feel like that's a very standard price for any kind of like top shelf quality stuff. It's not yes. overly outrageous designer expensive, um, but it's also, you know, not the like $40 eighth deal, but this is not 
$40 a eighth weed. 60 before tax, before someone in the comments does say something. Yeah, yeah. 60 pre-tax, but still. You're um, getting like, I am feeling all sorts of just pleasant high from, yeah. from just those two hits. And yeah, I love the pancake guys. is Kim Dog and Mandarin cookies. I've had Mandarin cookies before. I love a lot of good like cookies cross Kim Dog is fun too. Mm. That's a fun classic strain. Right, Kim Dog. Okay. Oh. Got another third clean bowl there to try this third okay. strain out. Okay, number three. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm Those like, first two hits are like, wow. I'm just still, I like, I do it's get a kick out of that. Okay, yeah, that is very, very cool. All of these strains do feel like a little piece of history, that these are the first three strains that he, like, launched Houseplant with, which, mm -hmm. who knows if that's going to be the new Bacardi in, like, a decade. Like, dude cares a lot about weed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can definitely see it going there. Yeah. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay, last one, everybody. Let's yes! do this. Yes! This will take a hit. Hit of some future. Future stuff, all right. Ooh, okay. There we go. <laughs> yes. Three for three would take this journey again. Like, <gasps> there we go. There we go. Listen, guys. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Highest THC. That one might be my new favorite. Oh! <laughs> that has such Finish a strong. good, like, <laughs> soury, <Ooh>. like, <laughs> gassy kind of good taste that brings me back to such a nostalgia. I feel like this oh. has got to be it's close to something that I used to smoke in college that, like, I was about to say, this it's, the... it's good. That tastes delicious. This is the high school special, right? <laughs> this is the, like, I'm taking it back. Let's go. Pancake ice. Let me flat as an icy pancake. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the price you win. All right, well, cheers. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> She makes it look so easy. <laughs> oh, ma'am. Goodness. Yeah, you Doesn't are not that joking. Doesn't taste so good? That gassy, that... sour, yeah. kind of like, mm. oh, just good, dank good mouth taste. Pucker. Yeah. Jeez. And I think that is my favorite. I love that as a sativa, I like it hits me cerebrally first, but it's like, uh, usually it's like, oh, it's like a headband feeling. This is like someone put a cement block on my head like I'm like oh yeah oh yeah I mean you also did we, we did just take three <coughs> hits on the student so let's not confuse him <laughs> but man that is a that is a awesome hit of cannabis my yeah God. exactly that was that was delicious I feel like even if you are just rolling this up in a joint smoking it in a regular bong spoon pipe you are going to enjoy this this was awesome <laughs> I feel like we had very high expectations and they were met so true. Yeah, yeah, it really does feel like this is cannabis that was really carefully like curated. And I'm so happy that we live in a, in a place of the world where we can have easy access to this. So, oh man, yeah, big shout out to Seth and Evan. Whenever you guys produce, I'm a fan of. Like yeah, TV, so movies, true. cannabis, just, I, I hate how freaking renaissance both of you are like, right do geez. do it all we love it all only note would be packaging this was pretty difficult to open we did need a key but we got it with a key and i guess it yeah. is keeping babies out so <laughs> yes. you know but Listen. it's also keeping me out so <laughs> let's think about it. next time version 2.0 yeah that would be r and d <laughs> that would be our i think my only note is just the packaging but also i do love the packaging because it's stackable. It can stack. Which is amazing. That's fun. So, shout out to Houseplant for bringing these amazing strains to California. We can't wait to see what's in store for them next. Yeah, and if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on the next awesome cannabis product review like this, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button here in the corner. Right over there. And if you want to join our Patreon club, you can get access to longer bonus videos by clicking right over here. Hey, button in the middle. And of course, more videos from us right now, either of the thumbnails off to the side. Right over there. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Good vibes. Love you, Seth. You did good. <laughs> <laughs>